What is up everyone? JD here. Hope you're doing well today. I have another unboxing video for you. What I have here today, you already know because it's in the thumbnail. I unfortunately am not really sure which one of these came in the mail today. So this truly will be a surprise for me. Just a little bit of a apology if the um, heater in the background is making noise. I'm out in the garage. It's cold today and uh, the heater is on. So let's jump in here and uh, let's see what we got. Today's unboxing knife is going to be the Blade HQ exclusive Spyderco Smock. All right, Woo, that is sharp. I'll set that aside. Let's make sure there's no invoice information in here. Okay, oh yeah, I know which one this is. <laughs> All right, I'm kind of excited about this one. I waited a little while to uh, pull the trigger on this particular bad boy here. So, as you can see right there, this is the Civivi Pintail with the, how are you going to say that? Cure Boratia? Cure Boratia? I don't know. They're wood handles that look really nice in the picture. And I picked up the hand rubbed Damascus version. All right, let's go ahead and get in here and see what we got. Really excited to see what this looks like in person. From the specs, it seems like it's a bit of a smaller knife. So you have your usual taco from CVV with all the stickers, warranty information. You have your microfiber towel, and then of course the knife. Let's see. Uh, what this looks like. Ooh, that feels really nice. Oh, the action is really good. Look at that Damascus steel. That's the combination of the 9CR and the 10CR, if I recall correctly. It looks really good. I like that wood handle a lot. That's really nice. Really good lock up there. Has that pocket clip that I'm not a really big fan of on there. Really lightweight. Let's see if I can get... Ooh, it's like a three and a half finger grip for me, but it feels really good in hand. That's definitely a sharpening choil and uh, not a choke up point for your finger, no. So this is definitely small. I knew it was gonna be small. I was uh, curious to see just how small I like the fact that they give you, it's going to need a little bit of break in. Thumb studs and, ooh, I totally, that's my fault. My finger slipped off of the pocket clip. Thumb studs, flipper. You can definitely tell this thing is on bearings. Reverse flick, all really nice. This is a good um, small knife for me. This is going to be really good to uh, take into the office and add to my office carry collection sorry i'm just trying to zoom in just a touch to give you guys a little bit better of a view of that one so it it's i, I can't pronounce what type of wood but the wood's really nice looking in person i really like that i love that they put the blacked out hardware uh the damascus on this one i think it's a little bit darker than the damascus on some of the other knives that i have in my collection from civivi i have the uh the riffle and I have the Asticus. I like the fact that it is a hollow grind. It makes it really thin and slicey, which is perfect for these little types of knives. And then it does have a um, hollow grind on the top side too. And what's nice about that is that it brings, they did a good job of making sure that the spine strength came out to the tip to keep it strong, but they, also did it so that it's on the opposite side of where you would be sharpening. So this again, just a, um, just an unboxing of the knife and kind of like initial impressions. I uh, didn't think to check, but oh yeah, there it is. Lanyard hole is exposed. I've gotten so used to them building it into the back spacers that uh, I didn't even think to check. It's right there on the body. Pocket clip is reversible and you don't need to remove any body screws on this side. The last two wood knives, wood handled knives that I picked up from Civivi had like a body screw here, but they have it up here on the back. This, yep, it's a press fit 
uh, blade stop right here. It's actually integrated into, as you can see right there, into the blade. So it moves with the blade and then it just in the liners themselves has uh, the stopping for the stop pin or where the stop pin hits the liners to stop when you're deploying and putting the steel away. So really like that. The uh, flipper tab right up above the pivot point. So really, really well tuned for that flipper action. They always do a really good job with that. And uh, thumb studs work really good too. They're just low enough to get leverage. Um, the cutouts are done really well so that even with my bigger hand, I can get into there really nice. And like I said, this is going to be really nice to add to my office carry. Um, the last few knives that I picked up, they were kind of flexing into the office carry area. This one more so I think is going to be really in line with some of the other knives that I have. Kind of a little bit bigger than like a Feist from what I'm looking at here at my first impressions, but right in line with like smaller than the Imperium, smaller than the button lock. Those are kind of the bigger knives that flex into the office carry because they're very slender. Anyway, just an unboxing first impressions for you guys. I wanted to share that with you. I will have a link down in the description if you're interested in this or if you're interested in the S45, uh, S35, sorry, S35 variant, which is a higher performing steel than the 9CR. But for a little knife for me, I didn't think it really made sense, so I went for what I thought looked good to me. If you enjoy the content, consider leaving a like. Subscribe so you don't miss future content, especially when I actually do the full review for this knife. And turn on your notifications so you get the alerts when those videos drop. I appreciate all the support out there, guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.